Hi there. Today um, we're going to be learning a tune called Evelyn or Eileen. It's a slow Irish air and um, it should be quite easy to play just because there aren't lots of big jumps in it. It's easy to find um, where the next string's supposed to be. I'm using my 16 string lyre here that I got online and um, what I've done is I've actually, because I know that D is the note that this piece starts on and it's handy for me just to know where D's are in general, um, I've actually put a little bit of nail polish on my strings and on my pegs just so that I know where D is, um, just to help me find those notes. <clears throat> so that's a little tip that um, you could put a sticker if you don't want to put nail polish or but just to help you navigate the lyre if you choose one with lots of strings, um, just to help you know where you're going. So this is Eileen, I'll play it first and then we'll break it down. So um, I'll break it down. The first note starts on is a D, so it starts on the D string there. And I'm just going to put my third finger on there. My second finger is going to go on the next string along, which is an E string. So I've already got my first two notes ready. I'm going to miss a string out and then I'm going to hit the third string. And that's my first phrase. So I'll play that for you. So I'm playing three, two, one. I'll do that again, find my place, take my time, set my fingers up. Great, okay. I'll do it one more time because I need that third note to find where my next note is. So there's the D, there's the E, there's the G. Now after this, I'm gonna move up to the next string. So all I did was I moved my thumb along one. So I'll show you that again. So that I know where I am. And actually I need the two strings next to each other so it goes like this. So I'll play it from the beginning. So finding my D, E and missing one out, there's my G. So all I've done is I've gone from the G, from the D, sorry, played an E, missed one out, gone to the G, and then gone straight to the next string, put my second finger there ready, and that's the first phrase. Okay, so I'll play that one more time. And I'm going to move that thumb up for the next bit. One, two, three. I'm going to put my three fingers down, so I'll just show you where they are. One, two, three. So I'll start from the beginning. So I started on the D. Then I did an E. Then I missed out a note, went to the G. Okay, so I'm going to try and play closer so that you can see. And then I move from that up one note and I got my two fingers ready. And then from there I moved up one and I went one, two, three. Okay, so I'll play that again. The more you repeat, the easier it is to remember. So it's always good to keep learning little bite sizes and going back to the beginning, building up slowly, going back to the beginning, building up slowly. Before you know it, you'll know most of the tune by heart without even trying. So here we go. <clears throat> Can you see the strings okay? Here we go. And 
the next bit, which is a repeat. So all I did was that, and then got my finger and thumb ready. So if I'm gonna talk about the notes, I'll go right from the beginning. So it goes D, E, G, A, G, A, B, A, G, A, G, A. Okay. So I'll play all of that again. <clears throat> Maybe play with me. <laughs> And then it repeats this little bit again. B A G. Okay, so here we go from the beginning. And then the next bit, so you've just played that A, you're going to go up one note. And play those three notes again so it goes B A G okay so that's what that's the last phrase that takes you right back to the end of that A part okay so there's my D string start again so Up one, down three, now there's the jump, so if you're going to play that note, which is a G, miss out one, go down to the E. And actually that, that little um, pattern is the same as the beginning where we had our third finger on the D, our second finger on the E, we missed a note out and then we went straight to the G. So that note, that, that little, um, little pattern happens quite a lot in the tune. So you could even just practice those little bits. So, and just playing. Okay, and actually if you learn it on the lyre, you'll probably be able to play on the harp as well by the end of this. <laughs> so if you've got a harp, you can try it on there too. So that's the A part of um, this um, Irish air. I'm going to play it one more time, okay? So I'm going to leave it there for today um, and if people are interested in learning the second part then I'll post a tutorial for, for that. Um, but when I'm learning pieces I tend to break them up uh, until I've gotten the first piece, the first part of the tune. I tend not to try the second part <laughs> um, otherwise I can't hold it all in my head if I'm playing by ear. There is music for, for this available, so if anybody wants the music, I will um, just put a comment in and I will um, tell you where you can find different versions of this tune. Um, and if there are any other questions or if anything wasn't very clear, just um, let me know in the comments and I'll try and um, answer as, as best I can. <coughs> okay, so um, happy playing and uh, I hope to see you soon. Thanks, bye.